<laughs> this is our revenge. Oh. Revenge, Sammy. Yeah. God, you dragged us to that goddamn nutcracker. Now we're gonna go drag you to a good movie. Yeah. I was already Great sorry movie. about the nutcracker having also watched the nutcracker. <laughs> I feel like this is just mean. <laughs> This is payback where we all suffer together. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go see uh, Fantastic Beasts and, also, and the Crimes of Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh no, that's yeah. a really bleak movie. <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way to the latest chapter in the Wizarding World Saga created by J.K. Rowling. Uh, okay, so let's all list our like thoughts on the Harry Potter universe, like where we come from, how we approach it. I read all the books, however I saw, I love Harry Potter, first off, let me get that out of the way. I really love Harry Potter. Also, I think this is a hot take in this car. I think the movies, sans a couple of them, are pretty good for what they are, actually. Um, I hear it, see, there's the groans from there, I heard groans from both sides. I saw the last Fantastic Beasts in theaters, um, and the first time I saw it, I really liked it. I was like, whoa, it's like she captured the magic again, this is wild, this is great. And then a couple days later, I took some other friends and we went and saw it. And the second time I was watching, I was like, oh no, this is terrible. I think Johnny Depp looks really goofy in this new one, but... <laughs> I, I feel like I have higher hopes for this one than I did for the first one. I have, a, I have a feeling that this one could potentially be better. I like adore the Harry Potter books. I've read them probably like 20 times. Harry Potter, your Bible? Straight, no, straight up. And that's not even an exaggeration. Like, it just is. Like, that, it, it took the place of like a religious text from me, a communal thing that everyone else knows. That being said, royally fuck the movies. Like, I hate them. <laughs> and um, part of it, I think, is that the movies were kind of set up to fail. That being said, I had the lowest of low expectations for the first Fantastic Beast. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to be total fucking hot garbage. It's going to be, you know, as bad as the movies were. And I would never call it a good movie, but my expectations were beat. I was like, oh, this is better than I thought. So I'm going to get a Harry Potter tattoo on my birthday this year. Yeah. My tattoo. Is I hate them. I really dislike the movies. I agree with what Sam said, but also, not only does it not make sense and the character development makes no sense, the acting is terrible. And I feel like the only reason there's any idea of the characterization is because people come to it knowing what they expect the characters to be like and just fucking project onto them. They were so important to me as a kid, and I spent so much time in that world and with those people. Um, seeing them brought to life on the screen and having them changed after the fact like it cheapens it and um, the more that gets introduced to the Harry Potter universe the less magical it feels to me. It's interesting that you bring that up Sam because what I was sort of afraid of with this one I'm not as afraid of it or I feel like the first Fantastic Beast was good at this but what I'm afraid in this one is that it's going to become like Star Wars it's going to become like oh all these people are all connected in some way and stuff like that yeah, bringing like in Grindelwald and now they're bringing Dumbledore in because of the trailer and 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 to me what sealed it for me with this movie in particular was the Nagini thing in the trailer that, was that Nagini is in this movie and we're getting Nagini's origin I'm just like no. ah, was I don't want that I feel bad ranting about it so much but it's just like I the parts with the magical creatures and everything that, that was always my favorite part of the books and um, you know I read the caring keepers and the magical creatures or whatever mm -hmm. and um, it was like really exciting and cool to I don't know I just, it just felt cheap it felt like a cash grab I didn't like it at all Come back for us to have more rants about after this movie, maybe. Maybe about how much we love it. I'm going in with a bright open mind. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real. I'm anticipating that I'm going to hate this. Sorry. Can I ever get out of the car fast enough? Fucking get something. <laughs> I feel that exhausted. I feel that unpleasant. I feel that wet. <laughs> I kept, I checked my phone so many times in that movie. Me was just too. like, please, is this over yet? Like, <laughs> good God. Not How many? Uh, on. Not only did I hate it, I feel like I will never live again. What was like one shining light for everyone? What was one good thing about this movie? The ending. 
<laughs> when it was over. The credits rolled. I thought the costumes were cool, and that's not just me saying that. Like, I normally never think about a movie because who the fuck cares, but I actually thought they were like, oh. There's some costumes. Everyone's just costumes got real pissed off. are really cool. <laughs> that one lady had poofy pants, and I really liked them. She did. So much so that I said aloud during the movie, and it was like a climactic scene. I was like, I like her pants. <laughs> you know, my absolute favorite part of that whole movie was I liked the the jingly little little cat with the, the little big lemur with thing. the. Uh, the little lemur thing. The little lemur stick? She means the little toy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I love that, but I love just in general, just that, the Chinese dragon monster. Like what makes, not even like a really good movie, what makes a movie like passable, passable. interesting? <laughs> like a movie, what makes it a film? And to me, it's either like character motivations that make sense that oh. you can keep track of, or they are obfuscated for a reason, and then they become a twist later or something. But something where you at least like think you know what's going on with at least one character and one perspective and action scenes that are coherent mm -hmm. and like, you know, even the same sort of thing. You understand what a person is trying to do, who they're trying to hit. How many times, I just want to bring up, how many times did any of the three of us during that movie audibly exclaim, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> to me, um, what I really enjoy about movies, some movies can pull off having a lot of different sort of like plot threads and like things going on and like a bunch of different characters who all s or seem small but come in to serve larger purpose, stuff like that. But like, I, I prefer when a movie is able to keep it, keep it tight. You know, keep it keep it simple. And in this movie, they just kept throwing in. It's like there's 30 minutes of the movie left, and then we get Nicholas Flamel out of nowhere to show up later and do something. I've seen the end of the movie. Why was he there? Why? Oh, so he's in the he's in the freaking uh, chocolate frog cart. <laughs> sure, but That's it's all fan service, yeah. Why. But uh, okay, and then uh, and then Sammy, like, what's your like baseline for a good movie? I have a hard time visually with a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just have bad vision. And for me, it's nice when there are a lot of special effects to be able to understand why there are special effects yeah. or like what is actually happening to the story and the characters, kind of like what you guys said. Um, and there was just a lot of noise and like, Yeah. And I'm just like, hmm. This movie had a real thing with uh, wizards uh, blowing smoke, yeah. like just expelling smoke from like their mouth. That happened three or four times in this movie. Twice it happened because Johnny Depp had a mystical, magical wizard hookah that he kept puffing on. <laughs> um, smoking that dank wizard kush. No one, no one makes sense. No one's doing anything that you're like following. You're never like, oh, how will this person achieve this goal? Because everything is shifting around, moving. It's all just fucking nonsense. And just noise. And, and contradictory all the time. I mean, when, um... Some projects you can solve with magic, some some problems you just can't solve with magic for, even though they're the same yeah. problem sometimes. Okay. Like, they invented solutions to problems that were still problems in the 80s. Yeah. That movie makes me want to cry. I'm, like, so upset right now. I think it's safe to say that I would not recommend this to anyone. Yeah, God. I don't think I'm going to get that tattoo anymore. Oh, oh shit. Wow. <laughs> That's brutal. But Damn. also, I understand it. Never mind. I just, I just want to go back and read Harry Potter when everything made sense. Yeah. I want to be 12 years old again. I don't want to pay rent. I want my parents to love me. Let's go to the movies again sometime. Let's not. Yeah, let's not. <laughs>